the Moonlit Path is a completely new artistic advent, uh, adventure. Down the Moonlit Path is a collection of nine uh, fairy tales from different cultures. Taking it into a level where more people can experience the nature of fairy tales as something shared across cultures and between people. It's not just uh, a story from one group of people or one person. It's a means to celebrate um, the things that are important to all of us, uh, human beings across the globe. You can have a communal experience as well as an individual experience of each one of these stories. Uh, the stories that we chose, uh, they start with Hansel and Gretel, which is going to be the most recognizable one, and then from there we chose stories that have themes that will resonate with anybody regardless of where the story is from. We are putting eyes on different cultures from around the world. How we're different, but we're also the same. Every story somebody has been able to find a connection with, even if they didn't readily know the culture behind it, um, they all have some level of uh, family strife or finding food or needing shelter, those very basic human things. Down the Moonlit Path gives you uh, a wonderful array of various tales that are traditional and looks at them in a new light while still holding on to the voice of those cultures. And within those nine cultures, some of the stories have up to three or four locations. We have an amazing team of designers. Uh, we're trying to incorporate dance, puppetry, media design, set design, costume design. Yeah. Um, so all of those things need uh, funds behind them. Just the immensity of the scale of this project is something that I think NWAC hasn't even tried to attempt before. Down the Moonlit Path is a much larger production than anything nothing without a company has ever done. We need money for um, paying artists, having money to make this amazing but very old space into nine different fairy tales. And the more that we can get, the more that we can do in making it an all-encompassing space. With costumes and set pieces and set design and the designers and the choreographers and the fight choreographers and the actors. The piece has 16 actors in it, so and there's 52 speaking roles, so they, the actors are running all over this amazing, <laughs> amazing space, just doing all of these quick changes from just culture to culture. So we would like to pay them for that time. <laughs> One of the things that NWAC strives to do is to uh, be a support system for artists, whether that's um, financial support or just creative support. And so with more money, we have the opportunity to be an actual support system for our artists. We need financial support in order to create a larger artistic dialogue and allow ourselves to grow. We also really pride ourselves in doing immersive work. Um, and so part of that immersive work is, is with the puppets and with the projections and with you know, really transforming the space and letting the audience feel as though they are a part of this world that we're trying to create. So with some support, we can make all those wonderful things happen. My name is Will Bennett. I'm a company member of Nothing Without a Company and for the project Down the Moonlit Path, I am the fight choreographer. I'm Rose Freeman. I'm a company member with Nothing Without a Company and I am the assistant director. Hi, my name is Ryan Tang and I am the Associate Artistic Director of NWAC and I am choreographing Down the Moonlit Path. My name is Romeo Green, I am also an NWAC company member and for this project, Moonlit Path, I am an actor. I'm Kevin Sparrow, I'm an Artistic Associate of Nothing Without a Company and I'm the dramaturge on this project. Hi, I'm Anna Rose E. Epstein, I'm the Artistic Director of NWAC and I also produce stuff that we do. My name is Rachel Stalens. I am a Chicago-based theater uh, director and producer and uh, the creator of this project. Um, I envisioned it about five years ago and then sucked this lovely man into <laughs> it after doing a 24-hour play festival with him and he fell in love with the project yeah. and now he is mine. <laughs> I am Tay Gabrikoff. I am the adapter and I'm a Chicago playwright and poet. The show opens fall. April, April 17th. 17th. The show opens April 17th. The show opens April 17th. Opens April 17th here at the People's Church. Here at the People's Church. The show opens on <laughs> April 17th and you should totally come and check it out. Um, it's gonna be a project that uh, you could view as many times as you want and never get the same experience twice. Um, there are two different narrators that interact with the audience and it's uh, almost like a gallery experience where you can come in and interact with um, each space as you will. 
or you can kind of follow the map that we've set for you. Um, it'll be running from April 17th through May 3rd with the possibility of extension if it goes really well. Um, so look for us in the spring in Chicago. Please go